guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Vanessa here and today's video is really special because it is another hair tutorial. My last hair tutorial blew up and I couldn't be more grateful so I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys another look. This one doesn't give the fake edges vibes that I was given in my previous video. Today's video is sponsored by Dossier, a luxury inspired fragrance brand. I'll leave a link for them below so you can check out some of my favorite scents and get a few coins off. But this video is really about how I would conceal the edges and still feel comfortable wearing a ponytail. Now you can wear this style in two different ways. Either you can wear it down like this or you can take it and give yourself the really cute top knot bun. If you guys really want to see a video on how I get this style right here, go ahead and thumbs up this video. Make sure that you subscribe to join the Vanessa Monet family. And let's go ahead and get started. To the salon! So here are all the supplies that you need and I will link them in the description box below. So I'm starting off with a ponytail in the middle of my head. I find that when I do this, my ponytail goes on top of my head and is more sturdy and it does lay more flat than if I were to try to just do it all in one take. So I'm just taking some slick stick, some got to be spray. You guys have seen this process and I'm just blow dry my hair up. I'm then going to take a little bit of weave and I'm going to go ahead and create the bun on top of my head. My hair is very, very short and thin. So this just thickens it up and gives me a bun. I'm taking some wrap strips. I'm going to take one and I love using the black ones because they just match with my hair. And I'm using that as a protective barrier for my bun. Then I'm gonna take another wrap strip and apply it across my head where I'm gonna be placing the bangs. I do tie it and as you guys can see, I'm taking some got to be spray and spraying it down, honey. And then I take a blow dryer and make sure that it is nice and dry and stuck to my head. And then I go ahead and remove it and cut off the excess wrap strip. I then blow dry it down some more just to make sure it's more secure. I'm using some beauty supply here and what I'm doing here is just laying the tracks all the way up to the top until I can't go any further. I do want to say thank you for 30,000 subscribers. You know, things are starting to kind of pick up for me on YouTube and I'm really, really excited about it. Like I feel the most successful, I've received the most views that I've ever received ever and I'm just, here to share more and give quick hair tips and things just from my perspective because I now know there's a community of women who are just like me. To my new people, thank you for subscribing and for my OGs, I really do appreciate y'all because we are growing over here and I couldn't be more grateful so thanks God. Like. As you can see, those are my bangs. The bangs are really nice, but we are going to put them to the side so that we can work on the genie ponytail part of the video. So I'm taking the hair, and this is a 14 inch, I believe, and I'm starting from the top of the bun. Don't start at the base, start at the top so you can give it a little height. The higher you start it, the higher it'll be. And I'm just wrapping it around, and I pretty much use the entire ponytail to give me this. I do like to wrap it up tight just to make sure it's nice and secure, right? And so now I'm just finishing it up, wrapping the rest of the ponytail around my hair, making sure I am not getting any bonding glue on my hair, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and tie that up because I want to work on the bangs. I like to use um, these plastic shears to cut the bangs they just i just feel like they give it a more edgier feel i like to cut one side because i can't see obviously <laughs> and i'm just freestyling it to be honest i'm no professional so i'm just going in with that and cutting it to my liking one thing i love about these shears is you can thin out the hair so it doesn't look as bulky and you'll see by the end of the video that i did go ahead and thin out the bangs I'm taking some heat protectant and I like this one because it has like oil sheen in it almost but it still gives you a heat protection so that the hair still looks really shiny but not too like oily which I really really like and there she goes I'm just flat earning in the front you know making sure I like it I do kind of go back and forth between the flat iron and the shears 
just to make sure that it doesn't look too blunt, but it does look really, really chic, right? <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty much it. Um, this is my favorite part. And then I'm gonna take my curling iron, and this one is about one inch, I believe, and I'm just using it to make loose curls. This hairstyle does last you about a week or so, so it's really nice. Then I'm taking my got to be spray and I'm just spraying down those curls so that they have a little bounce to them. And then I'm just taking my wide tooth comb and I'm just lightly combing out the curls and giving it that effortless beach curl look that I love. Going back, adding some finishing touches, making sure everything looks nice. And then I'm gonna take some Color Thicker, which is this black spray that I use just as a security, guys, because my hair is thin on the side. And this pretty much wraps up the look, you guys. I might crimp it or throw it up in a bun, which I think is so cute, right? You can like take it and give yourself like a little top knot situation. You know, and as the hairstyle gets older, that's what I would tend to do and the edges are still concealed. Thank you guys for all the love on my previous videos. I read all of your comments. I see your messages. I see your DMs. I see all the positive things you're saying. Again, thank you Dossier for sponsoring today's video and giving the girls a place to go to smell good, honey. They also give you travel sizes to take along with you just to test out and try and they can be layered. They are always having a sale. I will leave a link for them in the description box below in case you do want to check out Dossier. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one.